Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I'm going to probably cut back on uh, Bible studies real soon. I, uh, I've got tons of videos. You, go, you hit the playlist. A lot of good information there. But I was sent a article... It was written by Tyler, T-Y-L-E-R, Durden, D-U-R-D-E-N. Uh, I don't think this guy's a believer. I've never seen any evidence he is, but uh, he seems like he knows a lot about paying attention about what's going on or possibly an insider. But the, uh, the thing is, the headline is, the world with the world distracted by co vid 1-9, a series of large earthquakes is rocking the ring of fire. Now, if you look at the picture from Australia, Indonesia, Japan, uh, eastern Russia, Alaska, western Canada, western United States, including California, all the way down through Mexico and down to South America. That is called the Pacific Rim. And uh, they've had a slew of earthquakes, I mean, all, all around those areas. And uh, since everybody's been all worked up over this uh, disease, supposedly, that... Uh, you know, they haven't been paying attention to the earthquakes. But according to Wicked, Wikipedia, uh, over 80% of all the large earthquakes take place in that ring of fire. See the picture. And, um, but uh, from what I understand, according to uh, one of the California... Um, Let's see, California Tech, Caltech, says there's been over 1,200 uh, earthquakes in uh, just California and Nevada over the last seven days. And then you had some earthquakes in Tennessee, and I don't know if you're familiar with it, but there's a area called uh, the New Madrid Seismic Zone, uh, that is in the area of, uh, well, the Mississippi River area. So there are, uh, you know, Tennessee, Alabama, that kind of Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, those kind of areas uh, also have been getting some shaking going on. Well, let's take a look at some things. I mean, the Bible warned that uh, in Matthew 24, that there would be uh, earthquakes in the last days. And uh, guess what? It's happening, people. Now, I'm not saying I'm a prophet or it's the end times and this and that and the other. Uh, I don't know. But when you got over 1,200 earthquakes in California and Nevada in seven days. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Matthew 24, verse 1. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciple came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. Hey, Jesus, look at all these buildings. Isn't that impressive? Verse 2. And Jesus said unto them, See not all these things, verily I say unto you, there shall not be not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And that happened in 70 AD when Rome uh, burned down the temple and uh, they uh, scraped all the rocks to get the gold because there was a lot of gold in the temple. And then they took the rocks when they were done of them and threw them down and then went to the next one. Sorry, Wailing Wall's not part of the temple. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him 
privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And boy, we've had nothing but wars. I don't think there's been one day in the world where we haven't had a war since 1948 when the United Nations was created. And uh, what was the first action of the United Nations? They created the is Ray lie state nation not god the united nations created that but we haven't and since 1948 when all that was done we haven't had one day where there was peace in the world for ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom there shall be famines. Guess what, people? There's been locusts galore in the Middle East. I mean, billions of them devoured the crops. There shall be famines and pestilences. What's this uh, thing going on with the COVID-19? Uh the corona and not the beer. There should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes and earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah. All these are the beginnings, the beginning of sorrows. And they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended. Oh, yeah. When they find out that, they, that, that there's no pre-trib rapture and, and that, that, that they're going to have to be, they're going to be hated and be killed for the name of Jesus. And then many, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Oh, yeah, just turn on TBN or the 700 Prophets of Baal Club. You'll see them, false prophets. And shall deceive many, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Oh, yeah. In Revelation 12, and I did an entire playlist on Revelation 12. Um, now, if you don't know who the woman is, the woman's the church. Uh, if you listen to dispensational, sa Satanist, uh, dispensation, dispensation, uh, dispensational, I mean dispensational uh, theology, you know, Zionism and the pre-trib rapture people, well, you're going to think the, the woman here is the, uh, the Antichrist over in the Middle East that hate Jesus. Uh, you know, but if you believe that, if you believe that they're the chosen people, well, may your God bless you greatly. But uh, what can I tell you? Jesus only, the, the, the church is the woman. You're either in Christ or you're not in Christ. There's no, you know, Jewish bride and a Gentile bride. No, you're either, you're all one in Christ or you're not. And if you don't understand that, I suggest you turn off your television and start reading the book. But in Revelation 12, verse 14, and to the woman, the church, were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. Now you find out later on that's uh, 1,240 days or another place that says 42 months. In the book of Daniel, it tells you time, times, and a half a time is uh, basically three and a half years. Verse 15. And the serpent, if you don't know who the serpent is, uh, 
It's the devil himself. Um, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. And if you read some of my other studies, you'll know that the water uh, where is the sea where the beast rises out of our people, nations, languages, and tongues. This is people. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. The church, people. The third world satanic heathen aliens. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. There's going to be an earthquake or probably a series of them or maybe one that's going to swallow up this flood of satanic heathen aliens. Verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Now, you can read uh, Numbers chapter 16. Korah, K-O-R-A-H, started a rebellion against the Lord by uh, challenging Moses' authority. But he wasn't challenging Moses. He was challenging the Lord who had picked Moses. Uh, verse 19. Numbers 16 and verse 19. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O oh God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Moses rose up and went unto Dathan, and Abiram and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they get up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram on every side. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents, and their wives and their sons, and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do, these, to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die, if these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and the earth open her mouth, just like Revelation 12, and, if, and, the, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up, with all that appertaineth unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then you shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking, all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertained unto Korah, and all their goods. They and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them. So not only did the earth open up, it closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, and they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from the Lord and consumed the 250 men that offered incense. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Eliezer, the son of Aaron, the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hollowed. The censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them make them broad plates for a covering of the altar, that they offer them before the Lord, before they are hallowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Israel. So, in Revelation 12, in Revelation 12, when it says the earth opened her mouth, we're talking probably like an earthquake. There's going to be a, earthquakes that are going to help the woman. 
and the woman is the church. There is not God is not a polygamist. He doesn't have a Jew church and a Gentile church. No. He's got one bride. Period. So these earthquakes are going to be a good thing. You notice Moses and Aaron didn't get touched. It was just Korah and the people that challenged God's authority through Moses that were taken. So remember that in Revelation 12 that uh, you know the uh, the Lord is going to protect his people. That is what's going to happen. So keep that in mind. Because in Revelation 12, 16, And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. I mean, think about it. 1,200 and something earthquakes in California and Nevada. What's in Nevada? Las Vegas. What's in Las Vegas? I think, yeah, prostitution is legal in Nevada, from what I understand. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, they never repealed it. Uh, and gambling and you know but California all the wicked things come from California and New York so and they found out New York's on a fault too uh, New York City is built on a bedrock of granite and if it wasn't they couldn't build all those skyscrapers they, they couldn't build the Empire State Building down in Florida they couldn't do it because, you know, Florida's sand. But uh, New York is built on a bed of uh, granite bedrock. So that's why they can build these huge skyscrapers. But that's, they just found out that uh, New York's on a fault line too. So don't be afraid of these earthquakes. They're going to be a good thing for God's people. So, all right, well, that's... Uh, the end of my little uh, speech. All blessings, praise, gl glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.